This woman is drinking coffee when a group of people stare at him. The following day, a specialized cup for a black people is put on the table. She wants to go to the toilet but her boss says that there is no place for her. Hence, she has to wear high heels and go to the black's office. Her name is Catherine who has been moved to the Aerospace Bureau. She is responsible for calculating spacecraft's trajectory in the space travel plan. But the colleagues there are all white. They don't care about her. They paint black on important data. Towards that stigma, Catherine still keeps working hard. But the orbital figures are constantly changing. To save time, she even brings along documents when going to the toilet. She hands out data to her boss but he throws it to the bin. After 7 hours, these data can't be used. Due to work, she even doesn't dare to drink water. Even when being ill, she has to suffer. However, no matter how hard she tries, nobody cares about her. One day, Catherine spent three hours on calculating the result. But she has to go to the toilet, she can't put up with it anymore. When coming back, he finds a group discussing the board. They are surprised because of her new calculation. The boss calls Catherine to his room. It seems that he would compliment her, but in fact, he says that she is Russia's spy. She had worked so hard. Not only she doesn't get compliments but she is also considered a spy. She explains that if you put the documents under light, the hidden data will be exposed. The boss follows her words. Everything goes as she is told. The boss realized that she was unjust, apologized and asked her name. It seems that her work has gone well since then. But one day, she goes to the toilet when it's raining outside. To save time, she rushes to her office. The boss angrily asks why he couldn't find her. She explains that she went to the toilet. The boss immediately becomes pissed off. The research she does requires the exactness in every second. She just dares to spend 40 minutes each day going to the toilet. Towards this misunderstanding, she decides not to put up with it anymore. There are no toilets for a blacks here. Every day, she has to walk 1000 meters to the western building. Every day, she has to work from early mornings to late nights. She even can't drink coffee in the office. The boss is so rude. He separates the staff into two sides. One is white people, the other side is black one. Then, he uses a stick to break the woman toilet's name board. He says that there is no difference in status or skin colors. After this, Katharina doesn't need to walk 1000 meters every day. She also doesn't need to use Black's cup to drink coffee. The day carrying out the space traveling plan is coming. The air in NASA is very stressful. Having no more worrying us, Catherine has worked even better. The data others can't calculate will be given answers by her. Due to excellent talent, she has the respect of her colleagues. After a few months, NASA launches the spaceship. The media follows and posts many news. Everyone is very delightful. Except for NASA staff. They need to take an astronaut to space. NASA has to calculate exactly the landing location that ensures the astronaut's safety. Hence, they do meetings every day. But in these conferences, only premium staff are allowed to attend. Catherine isn't allowed to attend thus her data is not used. Catherine has to find her boss. He accepts and lets her come in. Though her boss leads NASA, he still suffers from pressure from his superiors. He is asked for when the calculation of landing position is out. He can't answer thus he gives the chalk to Catherine. Catherine starts writing each line on the board. She completed under 5 minutes. This surprises everyone a lot. Even the astronauts compliment her. But not long after, she has to move to another position. NASA has the machine to calculate thousands of data in one second. Having the machine, Catherine has no position. She returns to the office of Black. Though there is no work pressure, she can't be happy. Quickly, the day of launching the spaceship has come. Everyone is looking forward to this event. But the boss detects the location is wrong. He hurries to call the astronaut, and explains the situation. The astronauts are very pissed off, they request. To have that black girl recalculate. If she does, they will start. 
before launching the spaceship, the astronauts don't want to keep doing it. The astronaut says, if the data from machine are wrong, you have to calculate by hands. The one he believes is just the black girl named Catherine. But he hasn't known that because they had machines, Catherine was moved to another position. Hanging on the phone, the boss urgently finds Catherine. Finally, they found her in the area of black people. After receiving data, she immediately calculates. The astronauts are still waiting for her. Eventually, she finished calculating. She rushes to bring the documents to the head office. But when she has arrived at the office's front door, a colleague gets her document without letting her in. She knows this is the superior office where black people can't come in. When she is about to leave, the door opens again. The boss appears and calls her to come in. After witnessing everything there, she is so proud. This is the first plan which brings humans to travel space in history. After the astronauts get the news, they immediately return to the spaceship. The spaceship is started and heads to the sky. All the processes go well. After flying around the Earth three rounds, he successfully returned to the Earth, landing at the position Catherine calculated. Everyone gets extremely excited. However, Catherine tends to leave silently. Suddenly, the boss tells her, good job. Since then, Catherine has become the representative of black people. She broke all racism stereotypes. Her best friend, Mary, becomes the first female engineering of NASA. And Anna becomes the first non-American NASA manager. And for Catherine, she returns to the head office of NASA. And begins working on Apollo program which will bring humans to the moon and return to the earth safely.